Hey everybody, welcome back to Songwriting 101 with your host, John Barfield. Today we are going to be looking at something very important to people who are trying to produce and write songs in general, and that is tone. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be sticking with guitar uh, because it's the instrument that I'm most comfortable with. So if you have a problem with that, watch another video. I don't care. Now, for those of you who are not initiated, tone is basically just how your instrument sounds. And with guitar, there are so many things that can affect your tone. There are some people that say that every single detail of your guitar make and model will affect your tone, including the type of wood that it's made with. These people are wrong. Please ignore them. Now, how your guitar sounds is almost as important as what your guitar is doing. I wouldn't say it's exactly the same level of importance, but a lot of people disagree with me on that. Now, it's important to know that whatever song you're writing, that you have an appropriate tone. For example, let's say I'm writing a punk rock song that's like really fast and really aggressive. Would it make more sense for me to have a tone like this? <laughs> Would it make more sense for me to have a tone like this? Yeah, I feel like most people would say it's the latter of those two options. And for those of you wondering how I just did it on the fly, let's take a look at the pedal cam. Ooh, it's the pedal cam. I have so many pedals I'm going into death. But all jokes aside, pedals are really fun and important for when you're playing guitar because they can do so many things that your guitar and amp may not be able to do. For example, this has 11 maybe even more reverb settings. This is a delay that sounds like a VHS tape. This is a lo-fi modulator, whatever that means. This is a chorus pedal. This one made the big loud noises you all liked, I hope. And this one uh, is hell. Now, just as important as the loud and scary noises are your softer and lighter noises. For example, like I mentioned, the chorus pedal it has a sound that somewhat, it's just, it's very interesting. <laughs> a little more open, a little more nice vibey kind of feel for you indie rockers out there. Enormous! <laughs> if you wanted to combine effects, let's say you wanted to add a delay with a distortion, you could get something really interesting like this. <laughs> Just that alone gives me so many new ideas for when I'm writing songs. And that's another thing about tone that's important, is that when you hear a tone, it gives you different ideas. It inspires something new in you that another tone may not. And just as important as knowing when to use a certain tone is when to not use a certain tone. Like, for example, if I'm playing a little country lick, I mean, if I have a delay on, I mean, it might sound cool. <laughs> But I think it would sound a lot more impactful if it was just a clean guitar tone. I mean, like a... I mean, come, I mean that, that, that is pretty nice. And like I always do, I'm gonna close you guys out with an example of how tone can be really cool and how it can really impact a piece of music. So, without further ado, I present to you the tone piece and again thank you so much for watching Thank you. 